And so we come to it, the fourth and final book in this collection of Tolkien books published by HarperCollins in the UK. Um, this book is The Children of Hurin, um, which according to the description uh, that came along with the book, um, is the first standalone tale of Middle-earth since 1977, which was when The Silmarillion was published. It's the first complete version of one of J.R.R. Tolkien's great tales with many exclusive features. Um, and then it goes ahead and, and describes the features. Um, this, uh, this book was published, I believe, in 2007. Um, I did not do any fact-checking there, so I hope I'm right. That's, that should be an easy one to get. Um, anyway, uh, the, so the, the book is, is quite recently published. It was pieced together um, by Christopher Tolkien. It was pieced together from manuscripts that J.R.R. Tolkien had written, um, the, telling the tale of uh, Turin. Now, I have not read this book, um, but having read The Silmarillion, um, I do know a little bit about the story within uh, the book itself. I do intend to read the book fairly soon. Um, and, and from what I've heard, it, it's, it's quite a fascinating read. Um, although it is familiar, so if you have read, if you have read The Silmarillion, um, you will find the tale to be familiar, um, although it does naturally go into much greater detail. Um, is the tale of, of the hero Turin. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look at the book itself. Again, same slipcase design. Um, on this slipcase um, is the Helm of Hador. And of course, it appears once again on the cover of the book itself. Here is that ever so famous illustration that is on the cover of the paperback editions, um, and I believe on the dust jacket of the, the hardcover editions of the Children of Hurin. All the illustrations in this book are done by Alan Lee, who is um, renowned for his work uh, with Tolkien um, illustrations, um, illustrated editions of Tolkien's books, such as The Lord of the Rings. And he's also um, one of the uh, designers um, for the Lord of the Rings film trilogy. And I believe he's also doing work on the upcoming Hobbit films. His illustrations do appear um, throughout both as separate color illustrations um, and as black and white illustrations within the text, um, all done by Alan Lee. And a new map done in Christopher Tolkien's trademark, Red and Black, uh, a new map of Beleriand, um, as it was in the Elder Days, um, done specifically for this volume of the Children of Hurin. Once again, the same fantastic quality paper quarter-bound again. It contains um, an extensive history on, on putting this uh, tale together. It's written by um, Christopher Tolkien. And he goes, I believe he goes into detail about um, how he put this uh, this volume together. 
Um, I don't I don't know for sure as I haven't yet read the book. It also contains an appendix. Take a look at a few of the illustrations. It's marvelous, isn't it? A little editorial note: I, um, I am a huge fan of Alan Lee's work. His uh, his illustrations, his paintings are just fantastic. All right, I won't show you all of them. So there you have it, the children of Hudin. And that, my friends, is this collection of Tolkien books. So there you have it, this collection of books written by J.R.R. Tolkien, published by HarperCollins in the UK. And once again, my friends, thank you for watching.